All right, welcome back to PC Building Simulator 2. We're here in free build mode because we're checking out a brand new update to the game. It's update 1.2. It's our second, our second, like, content update. Oh, well, that blue screen, that's, that's awkward. <laughs> oh, there's no air cooler. Who's running this place? Who's running this show? Okay, anyway, uh, update 1.2 brings a, a few cool, different, new things. I'm going to close the music player. I don't know why that's open. Uh, we got some new parts. Quite a few new parts, some exciting new parts, some parts that we didn't have for a while that we thought, where are these, where are these parts on the game? They gotta be coming. Well, they're 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 here now. So we'll run through those. And we've also got uh, another interesting new feature that's built into the game. But let's look at parts first. I think let's look at parts first. Let's start with parts. We're starting with parts. We've got a couple new partners, which is cool, that are tied to some of the new components that are in the game. So let's just jump right in. I'll have the whole list down in the description. You wanna see all the new parts. They're in the game. Where's the cabinet? It's over here. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, okay. Let's check out some of the new stuff. So new cases. Should I just start there? I want to start there. I love, I love cases. We can scroll all the way down to the bottom and get to one of our new partners. It is Steiger Dynamics. We've got their Leet and their Maven case. So Steiger is known for like low profile, very quiet custom PCs, like kind of like, um, kind of like set top box style, as you can see. So this is the, I guess they're both, are they both classified as a cube? Yes, both classified as a cube. So you can imagine how this would look maybe in your TV cabinet. Um, so that'd be kind of fun. That's cool. We don't have a lot of cases that are this form factor. So kind of cool to, to add in a few of these. Got some, what, one, oh, 92 millimeter fans, custom Steigernamics Maven fans. That's, that's fun. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to do a build with this for sure. See how much power we can pack in here. We do have a lot of room for expansion actually it's, a, it's not small it's just different so a couple things a couple cases from steiger dynamics which is pretty cool we also have one other new case uh, i guess technically cases there are verge there are different uh different ver variations here we go the endorphi 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 i don't actually know regnum 400 and then the regnum 400 which is an addressable rgb both of them are kind of a mid tower um yeah glass eye panel looks good i think that's the I guess, technically, are they a new partner also? I don't know if they have other parts in the game. They're not listed as a new partner, but pretty cool. Uh, so I'll always take new cases. One of the most exciting things, I think, in the game. Let's go to motherboards. I don't see if this trick still works. Can I still scroll all the way to the bottom? No, I think we're sorted by price. Is this new? Are these new? Their new ones are going to be... An ASRock six, uh, Z690 PG Riptide. I wish I could do, I really liked how in the old one it was like new to old. Man, it was so great, but that's gone, but it's okay. We're just gonna search. Uh, RIP, there we go, Z690 PG Riptide. $200 motherboard, so not super expensive. You can tell the heat sinks are pretty small. So Z690, and then another Z690, this is the Z690 Ultra Plus. Ooh. Z690i Horus Ultra Plus. Oh, okay. I was like, what is the difference with a DDR4 version and a DDR5 version? That's cool. Nice. Good. So there you go. What's cool with this? Obviously, Mini ITX. So that's exciting. I don't know how many Z690 Mini ITX boards we have in the game. But those are the new motherboards that were introduced. Uh, we've got new GPUs. We've got some exciting additions here from both NVIDIA and Team Red. Uh, let's just start with one of the big ones that was missed, the 7900 XT and the 7900 XTX. $2,645 for that 7900 XTX. Good grief. What is, what is the most expensive? Oh, okay, never mind. Well, hey, look, we got other new ones. You can see them now. PNY, one of our other new partners now in the game. So we have their RTX 4080, 4080, 4090. Oh, interesting. They don't have this listed correctly, but um, okay. Anyway, anyway, we've got PNY cards basically. And uh, wow, we've got quite a few. 4090, uh, what is the, oh, overclocked version. Standard 4080 overclocked standard okay and then a 3080 ti and a 3070 ti and then this 3050 look at it, it's so cute okay cool also 3080 ti for I'm sorry 4080 first time showing up in the game 3080 ti was over here 4080 was not in the game it is now in the game and we've got some new 4090s 
Uh, I think that pretty much sort of kind of covers that. Oh, and then we also have um, on 4080s, we also have the Founders Edition 4080. So there you go. So we got the 7900 XT and 7900 XTX from AMD. We've got the standard RTX 4080 from NVIDIA, the Founders Edition. And then we've got a bunch of new cards from PNY, 4090s, 4080s, 3080 Ti, and 3050, and 3070 Ti. So there you go. That's graphics cards, some good additions there as well. Let's keep going. Memory, we've got a bunch of new DDR5 memory options. Also, we've got some PNY. PNY's first memory in the game. Obviously, they weren't in the game before. So we've got a few options there. Uh, all DDR4, except for this one is DDR5. 6200 megahertz, not too shabby. Uh, we've also got some new ones from Corsair, uh, Vengeance DDR. Is that our first Corsair? Actually, can I filter? I want to filter by DDR5. Can I do that? Is that a thing? I don't think it's a thing. Is that a thing? It's not a thing. Ram type? Aha! It is a thing. Hooray! That's how helpful. Uh, Patriot Viper Venom DDR5. This is all new. All of this Patriot Viper Venom is new. Corsair Vengeance Black. That is new. Vengeance White. That is new. So we got a bunch of new DDR5. This is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, what else? What other DDR5 is new? G Skill Flare and G Skill Trident Z5 Neo, but that ain't gonna come cheap. Maybe. Vengeance, Vengeance. Yeah, there's all. It's all kind of thrown in here. Uh, sort of obviously by cost is not the most helpful probably way to sort and try to see them all together. There's a ton of ton of Viper. Uh, I want to see that Neo. Where's that? Where, where's the Neo? Oh, there it is. It's all over here. Oh, it's not that expensive. Okay, cool. So there's that. I want to see what what's uh what's our fastest RAM these days? 6200, 6, 6000, 6, 6200, 6400. Is that it? 6400? Maybe. Might be. Uh but yeah, there you go. So we got a bunch of new DDR5 options, pretty cool. Uh also from PNY storage no surprise, we'd get some storage for PNY. We've got a bunch of M.2 SSDs here. Uh, what, we've got one terabyte, two terabyte, four terabyte. Yep, one terabyte, one, two, yep, 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 yep. And the 7,500 megabyte per second variant or the slower variant there. So that's our new storage, CS3040 and CS3140. Okay, cool. That's all the new parts. So cases, GPUs, motherboard, memory storage that's an only that's all the new parts beyond parts uh we've got a new icon on our tablet which has actually been there the whole time spoiler custom cables i haven't looked at this yet custom cables the custom cables app allows you to create your own unique set of cables that's kind of cool uh hello cable mod we are now cable mod using a range of different colors you can mix and match colors as much as you wish and assign each set a name to help you identify and use it easily in your builds okay let's do it I haven't looked at this at all, so I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's do it. Uh, I'm curious to see how expensive this is in like campaign, and also will they build missions around it in campaign? Maybe, probably. Uh, so what, we can choose which cable we want to do. It's cool, you get to see the front and the reverse. It's kind of neat. So ATX 24 pin, eight pin, six pin SATA. Tw okay, we don't have the 12 pin, no? We're not gonna run the 12 pin? Okay, SATA power. That's sort of what a SATA power cable looks like. What? That's weird. Why does this look like this? Okay. Anyway, uh, select a color and apply it to the wires. Green. And then I just, oh, I just click wires. That's crazy. Okay. Look at me. Oh, but I also have to do the reverse. I thought it was just going to be a view. Weird. I'm curious to see how this would work. Usually you wrap the entire like strand. I don't really understand the front reverse thing. Oh, this is also a lot of sound effects. A lot of hovering sound effects there. It's kind of annoying. Uh, okay. Wow, so like, yeah, you can, so you can really, you can really get in here and and go for it. Um, so I could, you know, I could, I guess I could do like something like like this and it'll just, I, I have no idea how this would actually turn out. Oh, I missed, I missed, I missed. Uh, wait, sure. All right, uh, it's looking pretty good. So then I say, add a name for your new set, Rainbow Y, add the basket, check out. 
buy now. And then boom, I assume I now have it. So I could just, I could just go up to a computer. Oh yes, I'm so sorry about the blue screen. Uh, okay, let's go for this one, that's fine. Um, so our big boy power cable here. Oh, now what I really recommend here is removing the cable while the computer's running. It's very important. So we can go into the cables and I should see rainbow Y ribbon braided. Okay, and so obviously the only, oh, and I get flat. I get flat, I get plastic ribbon plastic ribbon braided loose braided jeez okay four by eight to 16 pin. okay cool wow these adapters are crazy okay anyway got it cool uh let's do ribbon braided so obviously only the 24 pin connector is done it's the only one i did the rest of them are going to stay black by default so you do the whole set in one shot wow it's wonderful look at that that's really that's really something, you know? That's just something right there, okay. So uh, custom cables, but that's cool because we haven't had anything like that, you know? Like the cable the cable situation was pretty limited. I mean, there were some combinations here and there, but like you didn't have any choice beyond these. So now you can sort of do whatever you want. That adds a lot of possibilities to the game. That's pretty cool. Oh, well now I get the front in reverse because duh, because 24 pin, there's, there's pins along both sides, so duh. Um, yeah, duh, 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 Cool. Awesome. Okay, so there you go. Uh, those are the big changes in Peace Building Simulator 2 1.2. Uh, again, the custom cable store, and then all the new components we had there across cases, motherboards, GPUs, storage, bunch of new DDR5 memory. Uh, yeah, so good stuff. Uh, pretty excited the new updates we got in the game, and hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't join, you want to see more videos of Peace Building Simulator 2 or any other games I've been playing, be sure to subscribe in either way. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.